Minneapolis is in the process of redesigning George Floyd Square over four years after he was killed. As we first told you yesterday, the city debuted ideas, possible visions for the square, ranging from a pedestrian plaza to a transit mall. Brittany Ehrman spoke with business owners in the square who say it feels like they're stuck in a waiting game. <laughs> Traffic going back and forth, people walking up and down the street. That's the vision that plays on repeat in Dwight Alexander's mind when he looks out the window of his restaurant smoking the pits. Bus line, bikers, kids. But instead, this is the reality. Empty streets full of painful reminders and dark storefronts, an outcome Alexander hopes to avoid. That was our biggest, our biggest income, just the, the traffic. In an effort to bring back that traffic, the city of Minneapolis is in the process of redesigning George Floyd Square, words Alexander has heard before. It's frustrating, but I didn't learned over the last year or so just whatever gonna happen, gonna happen. It's out of my hands. The city just debuted several possible street designs for 38th in Chicago created from community engagement. The first is to keep the Chicago Avenue open. The second, make it a transit mall with limited traffic. And the third, turning the street into a pedestrian plaza with a dead end on Chicago. Revamping the former Speedway gas station at the intersection into a community space with the memorial and healing center is also on the table. I wish we could be moving on this faster, but we're moving as fast as we can and also really at the speed of trust of community members. I heard from business owners who say it's been four years of ideas and visions and proposals. What makes this different this time around? The street was essentially closed for a full year after the murder of George Floyd. Um, there was just a lot of process trauma, um, but also access challenges as well. After the street was reopened, we've been in this kind of interim design process. I'm kind of confused about what the end game is. Billy Jones has been at the community engagement meetings. He used to own this coffee shop in the square until it closed last September. It was just hard to be over here. Um, as far as the, the amount of traffic. This is my life right here. Alexander plans to stick around until the area turns around. This is my dream to do something I don't give up. Business owners also tell me the construction phase of this project is a concern because it could slow down foot traffic even more. There's another community engagement session planned for the end of August. They're hoping to wrap up this phase in the fall. In Minneapolis, Brittany Ehrman, 5 Eyewitness News.